Well, some people are born blind, others may lose vision suddenly or even gradually. Anyone coping with vision loss and their loved ones can find lots of resources all in one place, and it's happening this weekend. It sure is. Outlook Nebraska's Rachel Carver is here to tell us what to expect. Rachel, good to see you. How, how are things going? They're going I, well. I, I saw you last week. Did you have a good weekend? I did. I'm kind of starting to feel like a regular here. <laughs> well, just keep <laughs> just coming back. Good, Any, it's not a bad thing. Anytime you want. Anytime the seat's want. getting comfy. Very comfortable. I know, don't get too used to that. That's my, <laughs> yeah. that's my couch over there. <laughs> okay. Um, first, tell us about the, the resources available this weekend because you got this event coming up this weekend. Yeah, so there will be a variety of resources there. Um, anything from transportation to technology to resources that can help you at home even or on the job. Um, resources for parents as well. What kind of things should people expect if they've never been to an event like yeah, this before? Yeah, and who before? should come to this too? So this is really an informal event for people, whether you yourself are experiencing vision loss or you know someone who is experiencing vision loss, um, to really just come and ask questions. Um, there will be over two dozen resources available who are right here in Omaha who specialize in services for the visually impaired. You and I had a conversation last week and, and one of the things we talked about is the technology. Uh, what type of services and technology are going to be on display at this thing for people to see? Well one of the services is of course um, Outlook Nebraska provides free training on this technology. Anything from using a smartphone or a computer or sometimes it's as simple as you know what I can't quite read the labels on my cans anymore and I need a magnifier um, to help me do that. So um, there, there really is a variety of technology out there and the problem sometimes is if you don't know where to look, you don't know that it exists, your family members don't know what exists and so getting the help that you need or getting the questions answered can be challenging. Is there one thing um, in terms of technology that has really helped you um, over the last five, 10, 15 <clears throat> years that wasn't around prior? Um, I guess I would say my smartphone, probably just like many of us, makes a big difference um, because of the voiceover technology on it. Mm. I am able to do pretty much everything that you do with yours, um, email, calendar. Um, I used Uber to get here this morning and I used my smartphone to order that ride. So it, um, it really makes a big difference. Um, technology, I think in general, has made a big difference for people with vision loss. You've done this before. What kind of <laughs> feedback do you get from the people that have attended about maybe something that they didn't learn about or what the experience was like? Um, I think the feedback we got last year was um, very positive. We had some exhibitors at the end of the day asking when the next one was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, That's always a yeah, good sign. So yeah. it, it was really good and it's a great way for people to connect, um, for exhibitors to connect with community members and vice versa. Um, and just, you know, my father is has macular degeneration and doesn't know where to go and I don't know where to take him and I see this and I take him and I learn so much and I feel like I can help him and now. Yeah, how, how many different other organizations? You mentioned vendors and how many organizations are involved with this? There's going to be over two dozen. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think we were at like 28 or 29 yesterday. Yeah. Um, anywhere from um, there is an organization that takes people skiing in South Dakota wow. um, who are blind. Um, there is um, MOBI, which is the paratransit service, mm -hmm. um, public trans transportation service in Omaha. So there, there really is, um, there's, there's medical professionals that are going to be there. Um, so really any kind of service that you're looking for, um, in terms of vision loss, will be there on Saturday. Well, and I think it's important to note some of the things that, that you pointed out earlier with the different levels of vision loss. If it's something you're just starting to experience, maybe there's things out there that you don't know about. So this isn't for right. people who are just completely blind or legally no. blind. Well, this is, I, I think it's it's for everybody, really. It, you know, if you're someone like me and you've been blind all your life, maybe you, you'll learn about something new that you didn't know about before. And then, like I said, if you are just starting to lose your vision and you're not 
um, quite comfortable with it or you have a family member who isn't quite comfortable with it yet, um, it's a great laid back environment for you to go um, and ask questions and just and learn because as we all know, knowledge is knowledge helps a lot. Well, I think it's a great example that you, you know you've been visually impaired your whole life, but your father's going having some vision problems. You didn't know exactly where to take him for some of the issues he's having, uh, but there's resources at this visually impaired community resource fair Saturday. It all starts at nine o'clock. It's at West Roads. Uh, in the Von Mar Court, and it is free, so you can just show up. You don't have to register at all, do you, Rachel? You just no, show up? you don't have to register. Um, it's from nine to two at the Von Mar Court at West Roads. Um, just kind of a come and go as you please. Yeah, and the number on the screen six one four three 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 one is that for Outlook, Nebraska? Yes. Fantastic. And Thank you. All the information there, Rachel. Thanks for coming in. All right. Thanks you. a lot. All right. Uh, Albert.